NFL Week 6, Top 5, Bottom 5. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six amazing sports books down there. Go check out more information over tunicatravel.com. Chris, let's jump into it. Uh, Come on. Let's let's do our our bottom five first. We're going to start at number. Uh, do we? How about we, this? We, we start, start with thirty two. No, 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 no. I, I say let's do it different this time. Let's okay. start at twenty eight. We'll, we'll go all the way down. There's to, no, there's no like this is where all the suspense is. Okay, you might be right. All right, so Wait. worst worst team in football. Who you got? I'm sticking with the Raiders. They were there last week. They're not coming off this I unless tried. I see something different. I have tried and tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. This is an absolute rebuilding job. Gruden, uh, I don't think <laughs> I don't think it's job. that. Yeah, that's, I, I that's think kinda funny. I think Derek Carr is not his guy. I think he does not care about this season. Um, yeah, the Raiders are awful. They are really, 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 really bad. Who you got for thirty one? The New York Football Giants. That is a train wreck of a football team. Eli Manning does not have it anymore. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr. is complete trash. His antics on the sideline are awful. If the Giants are going to bring in another quarterback, if they're going to bring in a rookie guy next year, you got to get Odell off of your football team. Well, they can't because they just signed him to a monster deal. I would, and, I would and you call can't trade that. All thirty-one teams and see if there is anybody willing to to Here, here's trade. What, anything but here's the problem: nobody can give. This is the this is the downside. No one's going to give you great assets and pay that contract because then they're paying both ways. Agreed. So um, you'd have to be willing to take like a fifth round pick because the team has to swallow that contract. And and I wonder if maybe like the Browns or oh, now now they no doubt in my mind Cleveland would do it. That's what I'm saying. I'd you got to find Browns somebody. For, yeah. Like you you got to find somebody to take that contract because like I thought it was kind of dumb to pay him that to begin with. I did too. But and I like the guy, but I did too. So let me let me tell you this. Shockingly, I don't have them in my bottom 5 for one reason, one reason only. They have an elite all-world player in Saquon Barkley, and none of my other five teams do. And what, I think does, that's game-changing. Okay. That gives them some life to say, we're 27th, and you're not in this <laughs> list. My 31st team is the Colts, man. That team with Andrew Luck as their quarterback, are, they're just not good at football. I swear that team is cursed. Their owner is one of the biggest jokes I've ever seen run an organization he makes jerry look sane i don't know what's going on there but they're not I look good at, i look at all of these other teams the the way that i rank these is just based on okay do i think that this team would beat this team i don't know on a neutral site field that the giants wouldn't be favored against the colts right now i think they would i think saquon barkley could win that game hands down by himself just hand yeah, it to him, might. hand it to him thirty times. You score fourteen. The Colts aren't scoring. You're fine. I think that Andrew Luck could score on the Giants' defense. All right, what do you got for thirty? Thirty is the Forty ers The Forty ers are a good team. Uh, however, they did just get beat by the Cardinals, so I can't have them behind the, or in front of the Cardinals. Um, but I do think the Forty ers would beat the Giants and the Raiders. Look, they they can put up yards all day long. They can – their defense plays pretty well. But when it counts, they don't have the playmakers to be able to get them over the hump. So hey, You might be right on that. They're not even on my list either. What they did on Monday night, man, if, if that's anybody other than Aaron Rodgers, you know, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, I don't think – I don't think they lose that game. I think it takes I mean, you, an elite-level right, quarterback to beat them. But the week before that, uh, an elite-level quarterback was not on the opposite side. Of oh, line. yeah, yeah, yeah. But and they got you, beat by 10 points by at home by the Cardinals. But you're talking about a Cardinals team that was backed up against the wall, winless. People don't go well, that's winless what I, in that's, the NFL. But that's what I'm saying People here. don't it's go a, winless it, in the NFL. The 49ers, it, it, every game will be a different circumstance. Maybe. I so, got you. So the, the, it, every my, game's going to be different. My 30th is the Arizona Cardinals. I, I like them. I think they're getting better, but they just don't have talent. They just don't have the talent. It doesn't matter how hard they try. They don't have the dudes that are here to do it. 
I don't Which know is crazy. They had the dudes yet. the last two years. They, I think they've got the they dudes. They let so many guys go. Uh, agreed, agreed. Or they got older and retired. I mean, and one of the, the thing. two things happened. They, they so. are definitely older. Uh, David Johnson is good, not great. Like he, And Josh Rosen is getting better each week. But it's going to take a long time for them to, to build this the way that that coach wants. Uh, 29. That's, that's who I've got at 29. Okay. The Cardinals. My 29 this is Buffalo Bills team. Now, now that Josh Allen is hurt, about to meet with J- Dr. James Andrews to look at that shoulder, elbow. Yeah, that, that means he's done for a if, while. If it's Peterman for the rest of the season, they drop all the way to twenty to 31. If it's Peterman. If it's Peterman, they drop to 31. I think the Raiders anybody, are still better, worse than them. Anybody else in there? Because um, I, I don't have the Bills in my in my bottom five. But you're assuming that it has to be because you're assuming Josh Allen's going to like come back. It's not even Josh Allen. I'm assuming that they are going to play somebody other, other than, than oh, you other think than they Nate might Peterman. go find another quarterback? Yes, I think they will find somebody well, I need, else. I need to see that before I trust I, it. And because I for some that. reason, that front offense has tried to make Peterman a quarterback, and I don't get that. At that <laughs> they're, still, we've they're talked forcing about this. square peg and round hole. We talked about this in the recap, and I cannot, for the life of me, figure out. Why they keep playing this guy? I brought up the Kaepernick thing. There's there's so many guys I, out there. I and and I should know this because I follow the NFL so much. I think Derek Anderson is is their third string quarterback. That dude's like a legit backup quarterback. If he is, that guy's good. Well, but he's also like fifty years old. Like he's do, he's been around forever. But I would still you rather have that. Think that he's not. You remember when Vinny than, Testaverde was playing when he was like sixty? Yes. You know, like, I mean, it's, come on, man. Like and and you can still win with those guys. Like they don't turn the football over. Well, generally, right? I mean, my gosh. Um, it, it, yeah, it, bring a veteran in. Bring somebody in that can stabilize this team, and they're not bad. Trade for Fitz Magic. Now that Jameis is back, At, look. Hey, bring, just, yeah, bring trade, him back home. Yeah, just trade for bring Fitz. Him, bring him back home. I'm in with it. Twenty eight. Let, let Jameis just keep on throwing you interceptions. Twenty eight. I got the Colts. Right, they deserve to be in the bottom. They, five. They deserve to be in the bottom five, uh, but I, I like bad. I still I've got faith in them because I I don't think they're that bad, and I think that they would beat the Cardinals. I think they'd beat the Forty ers the Giants, and the Raiders. Like that's that's where I'm at. So, Holy shit! <laughs> what are you doing? We are recording this on Tuesday night while my Boston Red Sox are playing in uh, the, ALCS. the ALCS, and I think Jackie Bradley Jr. just hit a grand slam. What's the score? Eight to two. Eight to two. Yeah, I, th- I think he just hit a grand freaking slam. That was awesome. <laughs> my my twenty eighth best team, my best of the bottom five, is the Denver Broncos, and they are staying in this spot until they show me something or they put Chad Kelly in because Case Keenum is exactly who we thought he was. Well, I mean, they get to play the Cardinals this week. I don't so. care. I, you know what? I'm I'm really tempted. It's not in one of my gambling picks. I'm tempted to put money on on the Cardinals. I don't think Case Keenum can win football games. I think last year he looked good. And you know why he looked good? Because he had two top ten wide receivers on his team and a top ten tight end on his team. That helps you look really good. You you realize that the Broncos just covered against the Rams, right? They covered. They could have won that game. I agree with you. I agree. Now, but I think that's another one of those that, like, you can – Chalk it up to circumstance. No, no, no circumstance whatsoever. Because I, I don't think the Case Keenum dead. I don't think the Rams put as much into that. Wrong, anyway. wrong quarterback. <laughs> top five. Let's roll through these because the entire the top four look the same except for maybe. And there's some really shifting. no explanation on them. Uh, we do a number five first. Let's start at one because number five is going to be where I okay, go. That's, okay, one is the Rams, obviously. I, well, I've got the Rams also. Two were different, but... We're different, but I think it's the same kind of thing. I, I, I got the Chiefs at two. And I got the Patriots at two. So, which I understand. I know that the Chiefs got beat. No, that's fine. I got that. But but going to Foxborough, putting up a game like that, 43-40, losing a last-second field no. goal, I still like the Chiefs. Uh, number three, I got the Pats. And I got the Chiefs three. So, I mean, yep. we're just so we're, flip-flop we, there. Yeah. I got the team that won the game, and and I get I get your logic and reason. Number four, uh, I got the Saints. We both have the Saints. We got the Saints. There's there. no no question there. They were idle, and I, but we I think, moved we the think Saints the back. Team. And you That's got right. on to me about this for for moving the Bears in, like for moving being them idle. up when they were idle. Yeah. 
But I don't have a problem with moving a team back to the title. We didn't see them do anything. And, and, and what we the saw Pats, the other team like, do was impressive enough. to They took down an undefeated team. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that, that's a big deal. That's pretty good. That's a big deal. Uh, they, they beat a team that scored 40 on them. That's kind of a big deal, too. Yeah, so. it is. Yeah, it is. Our so. number five is where we're just different. I got the Ravens at five. I just think this Ravens team, I think they're good. I think the division is good. I think the reason their metrics say they're great, you brought it up earlier in the recap, well, is the they different. beat up on some bad teams. And my L.A. Superchargers are my number five team. Their only two losses are to two teams in the top three. You're one and I, two. I That's think the Ravens, hard to argue. The Ravens and the Chargers, I think, depending on where you played the game, would be who wins the football game. I don't know that that matters because the Chargers don't have a home field advantage. It, but it, but as long as you take away the home field advantage from the Ravens? I don't know that that matters. I, I think mean, they go into not. Baltimore, they kick their butt. Yeah, you, you know what? You might be right. Joe Flacco, Phillip Rivers, I'm riding with Rivers. You can play that game in the moon. <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap up our NFL Top 5, Bottom 5.